here in the hotel room, remainder of the trip. Got an awesome ass view. Y'all ready for this? Look. flight ended up being two hours so we flew around in a circle for like an hour because it was raining ate Burger King now we're waiting till about what time? Five hours. about five hours because we got to check in at 350 and our flight is at 650 so from here from Bangkok we're gonna be going back to Tokyo which is like six ish hours and then from there, going back home. I guess it's a good thing that our flight took a circle because now we have more time to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Finally home. I think the I char I just charged it. I just started charging it. Three weeks. You don't think it's gonna die? It's gonna die. Oh, finally home. Get on, pack everything, get some rest. But those plane rides were pretty. I think the second time around was pretty quick. So yeah. flew by, literally pun intended. But we're back. We're home. Back home. Stop. 
damn. Finally glad we made it back because literally it just started thunderstorming, y'all. Look at take a look at this. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Literally, we're in the month of July, summer month, and we're getting rain. It's that's not right. It's not supposed to happen like that. But man, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I'm gonna try my best. Either way, um that's the travel series, guys. You know. Um that that's my country of Laos, man, you know? I'm trying to think where I wanna sit. Maybe you know what? My ass about to pop a squat right here. Right here, so I can lean up. Right here. Welcome to Brandon's corner, guys. <laughs> really, nigga? But that trip, man, it was it was well worth it. I haven't gone to Laos since probably seventh grade. Seventh, eighth grade. I think I was like twelve or thirteen, I can't remember anymore, but you know, going to a country that you haven't been to in a long time without the knowledge that you know now in today's society it's just astonishing because literally I went and I was I was prepared like I knew what to expect and how to react but going this time it's just a huge reality check you don't realize you know we as people right now in America today's society we don't realize what we have until we see other people's struggles. We don't, we don't, we just take it off for granted. I think so. This is my opinion. This is all subjective, what I have to say. Other people might think differently, but from my opinion, we're spoiled as shit, man. I, as hard, as mean and, and harsh as it sounds, sometimes the truth hurts. We're spoiled as shit. It's, it's ridiculous because literally we could go there, bowl of noodles, right? If we get a bowl of noodles here, 10 bucks or something. We get a bowl of noodles over there, spend like two bucks. So obviously our money is worth more over there, but you know, behind the scenes to that, you don't realize the hustle, the struggle, all the hard work that goes into that tiny bowl of noodles, right? Um, everything that we had there, all from scratch, fresh, daily, every day, every morning, every lunch, every you know dinner, everything was fresh. Um, and it's sad to say, but even the simplest things like a fridge, you know, it, it doesn't fit what we put in our fridges today. So it's, it was, it's, it's sad to see, but you have to accept the fact that that's how they're living and they had to come up. And then, you know, if they travel to America and came here for the come up, more power to them because people out there, their work, their work ethic is beyond belief. I have never seen such tiny little like five-year-olds, right? Tiny little five-year-olds hustling over a chicken egg to sell, right? So it's just, man, it makes me sad, but it's it's the truth. I'm, I'm a spoiled shit, whatever. Um, but I came back, you know, I'm more humbled. I'm more appreciative of everything I got. Um, and it's just, Aside from the scenery and everything, beautiful as it is, it's just fantastic, you know. If you guys ever get the money to blow, go go to like, you know, third world countries and see how they make their living. And then you'll, you'll come back and you'll be more humbled. Travel to somewhere that you think or you know will be a huge impact on your life because you know, it's, it's made a big impact on mine. It, it helps me appreciate my roots more. Um, and it's just, I was at a loss for words. Like, I knew what to expect. I already knew what was coming. I knew how to handle everything, but just going there and it's, you see it with the knowledge that I know now, it's just remarkable how they survive out there, how they're making a living, a killing, you know, everything. Um, it was a trip well worth it. Aside from the, the long travel distance, which sucked, but it was fun, man. It was great, great time. Great time with the family. Food was great. Fruits as fresh as can be. Sweet, you know, like natural sweet, not like, not like our artificial sweetener bullshit. Um, drinks tasted so much better. Um, scenery, always a plus. Ugh, always a plus, always a blessing, you know. 
beautiful, beautiful countryside. Uh, the capitals, uh, Vientiane, beautiful city. It's, I noticed um, going there now, it's a lot more modernized, more westernized. So a lot of more restaurants like pizza or you know Australian bars, everything. It's, it started to migrate there. Um, the fact that tourism is such a big thing, touring is such a big um, income in the country. So, you know, whatever works, you, you just gotta do what you can to survive and still I see no changes. Yeah, let me know what song that is if you don't. Know comment down below um, it was great fun it, it's wonderful seeing family you haven't seen in such a long time and see how they've grown and progressed and then when they see you they're like wow he's grown so much actually I take that back they all thought I got fat um, and I, I told them straight up I was like oh our American food is cooked in shit ton of oil and cheese and fat and like yeah I believe it like they already know I'm a foreigner because I'm fat I, I mean, you know, I like to say I'm not fat, but I am fat, so um, that's the thing though. As soon as you step out of out of the plane into that country, they know for a fact you're not from, you're not one of them. You're not a native, that's what I mean to say. You're not a native because they'll just know the way your hair is, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you swing your arms, your color, your skin. Um, the way you dress, probably the biggest one because right when we got there, I'm stripped down to like a tank top and sh the shortest shorts I got. And the natives will literally have on a jean jacket, black pants, a shirt under the jean jacket, you know. And I'm just over there like, yo, this is like 95 degrees right now and you're, and you're in that and you're fine. And we're over here sweating balls trying to, you know, get as much cold water as we can. So... I hope all the clips I showed you guys, you know, gave you somewhat a good direction of where, you know, Laos derived from, where we come from, how our people make a living. If you ever have the time, ever have the money, um, definitely, definitely go see, because it'll put your perspective on life differently. And so, with that being said, I want you guys to take away from this video, my video series, um, just be really appreciative of what you guys got what you guys don't got be thankful for it so it's it's you know i appreciate all the time you guys took to watch these these episodes and yeah that's it back to my normal vlog routine so um i don't have much to say now that's about it so we'll see you in the next vlog i don't know what it's gonna be but it'll be a good one so Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys later. Smash that like button, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, you guys know what it is. Thanks for watching y'all.